In the world of confusing skateboard trick names, nothing is more vague than Ghetto Bird. It doesn't mean anything, and not a lot of people seem to know what it actually is. So what is the trick? Where did it come from? Let's take a look. Unlike a lot of mysterious flip tricks that are just vaguely credited to Rodney Mullen, we actually know exactly where the Ghetto Bird came from, Kareem Campbell. And we actually know where the name came from. There was a 1993 song by Ice Cube called Ghetto Bird. In the song, the term refers to a bird or helicopter that flies over the ghetto in search of crime. So when Kareem Campbell invented a trick that had a lot of spinning in it, it was named after a cool modern term for helicopter. And that's not the first time that happened. In the 80s, Rodney Mullen invented the Nolly Backside 360, which he called the Helipop. Originally, Ghetto Birds were also a Nolly stance, so maybe it's a reference to that trick. Kareem actually gives Rodney a little bit of credit for the trick because he taught him how to think tricks through and visualize them, which eventually led to him first landing the trick. But anyway, do a YouTube search and what do you see? You see regular stance, hard flip, late backside 180s. In other words, a hard flip revert because the board changes direction. Not much of a helicopter if you think about it because it only does 180 each way. I checked if the barracks had a Trickopedia entry and when you Google it, you find Chris Joslin doing a hard flip backside 180. Interestingly, the page itself doesn't say Ghetto Bird on it anywhere, including in the meta tags. And in fact, the hard flip late backside 180 has a lot of different names like the Chetty Thomas. That name got popular for a little bit when Jimmy Carlin put out his Flatland video where he did a bunch of obscure flat ground tricks and renamed them all. It's of course named after Chet Thomas who did a ton of hard flip variations. You don't hear that name very much anymore. It was mostly used by kids who didn't realize that these trick names were just made up on the spot. And for the longest time, I thought a hard flip late backside 180 is what a ghetto bird was until I saw the original footage of Kareem Campbell doing it. Here it is. He says that he had the trick in mind for a while and finally managed to do it because the atmosphere and energy were just right. He also said it's the craziest thing he ever did in his life. So it definitely wasn't his signature trick in the sense that he did it all the time. Actually, it seems like this is the only time he ever landed it. If any of you have ever seen him do it again or a different camera angle, let me know. I'm going to have to throw in some clips of his Tony Hawk 2 special trick because I don't have much to work with and it actually seems like they animated it really well uh, compared to the original footage. All right, the trick. It's a Nolly hard flip late backside 180, right? Yeah, but keep in mind that the hard flip is already backside, so the trick is actually like a deconstructed Nolly big spin hard flip. Now, some people will get up in arms and say that it has to be done fully in the air and you can't land in a pivot, but keep in mind that while Kareem did it perfectly in the air, he only did it once, and that's not really enough to go by for making firm rules about exactly how the trick has to be done. But anyway, if the Nolly version goes backside, then the regular version would have to be a late frontside 180. A few skaters do these, but you'll never see it called a ghetto bird for some reason. But the original version was Nolly, right? Well, this is actually a new issue. As skating gets more and more tech, we're finally starting to outgrow some of the terminology we have available. For a while, we were using big spin, bigger spin, and biggest spin. Now we just call those gazelles. Back in the 80s though, a gazelle was a 540 shove it with a 360 body rotation, and it was only done off the nose. If you wanted to scoop it off the tail, you would have to say gazelle off the tail, but that's kind of a mouthful. So nowadays we strip out the stance and just keep the trick. So with the ghetto bird, maybe we ignore the nollie part and just have front side and back side ghetto birds. I don't think there's a technical problem with that, but it's still such an unclear name, and I think it's just time for that name to die out. I vote we just say hard flip late 180, or big spin hard flip if it's the other way, and it seems like a lot of people are doing that already. Well that's all for this time. Next time I'm thinking about tackling the Merlin twist. Most younger skaters would say that the trick was invented a few years ago, but did you know it's about 25 years old? So stay tuned for that. And in the comments, let me know what other tricks you would like to see explained in this type of format. Subscribe to see more skate content like this every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.